Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Joan here and today's video is going to be the first part of my Los Angeles, California series. I literally went there a few weeks ago during my winter break and didn't know necessarily what I was going to end up doing, but I am very appreciative of all the friends that I was able to hang out with. There's going to be different varieties of videos. Some are from photo walks of the day. Some is just like a collage of all the random things that I end up doing that didn't really necessarily make its own video. And then there's footage that I shot on Super 8 that's going to be also its own video. So pretty much stay tuned for all of those videos. But this video is going to be the introduction to it all. I pretty much went to LA because I've been dying to go and it's crazy because definitely it is now the epicenter of where COVID is happening in America so it's definitely not advisable to go but me being the stubborn self I definitely had it in my agenda that I want to go since November of 2020 and I postponed it because I had finals and I just it just didn't seem as advisable already to go but I said I would just wait it out which I did and then ended up going in January of 2021. I was out there for two weeks and there was no set agenda literally I just knew that I wanted to travel and go somewhere and it just happened to be that place because I've always went to LA since I was 20 years old. I went there every year after dating someone and meeting them on tumblr see true story and obviously we are not together anymore but that was the point in my life where i honestly realized i could travel on my own that i didn't always have to go on a family trip in order to go on a plane i literally went on a plane by myself to go see this person and then after that Literally now, I've just been traveling the world by myself at times and not really second guessing it, not really afraid anymore, thinking that I always needed someone to be there in order to survive wherever I end up. And so LA has been pretty much my second home that I've been to over and over and over again, regardless if it's with friends or just by myself. And this trip, I decided to go alone. At first I was supposed to go with friends, then there was a conversation about bringing my sister. There was just a lot of conversation of different people going with me, but in the end of the day I ended up going alone. Which I'm very actually grateful for and thankful that everyone understood in the end because I felt like I needed to just get time alone to just figure out everything again and luckily I was able to get a new laptop so I got to work while I was there as well and then I reached out to a bunch of my friends that are over there many that I've never met in person people that I've spoken to through YouTube through social media and they were super nice enough to meet me in person and all of that stuff happened while I was there and since things are closed in a sense that only you could go shopping or eat takeout I pretty much went on a bunch of picnics, went to the beach, and just took photos. That's pretty much my agenda the whole time when I was there. And enjoying 80 degree weather, which apparently is not the norm over there. It's usually 60, which is still warm compared to back home, which is like sometimes 30, 40 degrees in January. Now getting to the lower 20s, sometimes there's a snowstorm and I've never been to LA in January. I've always usually went during May, June, and I've never went in January, so it was really interesting to experience that in itself. It would have been nice to experience it during Christmas, but maybe for another time. And so I literally usually bring so many cameras with me when I travel, and I did, but not as much as the usual. I just cut it down to bring this vlogging camera, I brought my Super 8 and I brought my Canon QL17 which is my 35mm camera. I didn't bring my medium format which is something that I usually bring which is my Yashica and that was it. I didn't really bring the most and my Polaroid, my Insects AF, which is 500 AF died. 
I was super sad. That was a camera that I felt really connected with in a sense of just being able to shoot insects wide Polaroid photos. And especially that I learned about that camera through my friend Ben. And then when it just stopped working and then obviously even Ben himself told me that it would probably be more expensive to repair it than buying another one. I just kind of was like sad because I had a bunch of insects Polaroid packs so I could document and take photos of my friends out there and then I wasn't really able to. So then I ended up deciding to change things around and photograph with my phone but at the same time I documented each and every friend on Super 8 which will be the video that you will see in the future. I actually dropped off my film a few days ago and so I'm just waiting for it to come back from the post house and then I could tweak it and color grade it and do all the magic to it but as of right now I'm just been scanning my film that I shot with the Canonet. I developed it uh, well not me myself developed it I dropped it off at the lab got the negatives back have been scanning them and so those are the videos that you're going to see in the next part of the series and it was just nice sometimes to just walk around in a place that just wasn't very familiar to me and just document whatever it was that I saw because it was not planned. I'm so used to controlling the scene and telling a model like what to do and directing and all of that so it was just pretty nice to just walk around and just photograph whatever was there and Pre pretty much like playing I Spy or like Where's Waldo and that was pretty much my trip going to LA and I know a lot of people were kind of like are you really there? There was a time when I FaceTimed Ben in an instant if you don't know who Ben is and he was just like wait hold up like this doesn't look you don't look like you're in the same side of the country and I was like yeah I'm definitely not on the east coast anymore I'm on the west coast and so it was just really nice, like I said, to get away, just to have a different scenery and for me to just be able to help myself mentally because I was literally really overwhelmed and tired and exhausted and definitely probably burnt out from everything that's been going on in 2020. And till now, I'm still balancing school, work and doing YouTube and much more and I always tell people like my friends that I'm always saving the world but I still will always make time for them if they need me and that's where pretty much I've been at and I'm just very grateful and supportive if you've been just following my journey wherever you've been following me and I hope you guys realize how important it is for me to be able to just go out and just literally find myself it's not easy to admit that there are days when I really feel like I just don't want to do anything and there's some people who could just like stay in their room and like seclude themselves and then you know eventually kind of get out of that funk and then move on but for me I literally sometimes have to really leave my home just to feel like I miss my home and that's what I literally did and I just am grateful for every person that is supportive in every endeavor that I've done and uh, just quick shout out, uh, this long sleeve sweater is from The Quiet Life. It is a store that is in Highland Park in California. And my friends, we were just strolling on York Street and then came across that shop. And there were so many times I tried to stop by but it would be closed. And then eventually, right before I left, I was able to manage to stop by and check it out. And then I supported by buying this. So make sure to check it out. Not sponsored at all. Nothing I've done is sponsored. And yeah, that's just a little thing that I just want to share. And what else do I just want to say? I just can't wait for you guys to literally see everything that I've been up to while I was there. I know so many people are curious because they've seen some teasers from different Instagram accounts of others who are based in LA and are just like, why is Joe and like on my feed like random times or a bunch of times? And I definitely met a lot of people when I was out there. I did not 
waste time and as much as I'm someone who wish that could just like relax and not do anything and just enjoy the sun which I did but definitely was not gonna just sit and not do anything despite things being closed I definitely really wanted to still interact with people that I knew who were out there and so pretty much the rest of this video is just going to be all the snippets that didn't make it to the series and pretty much you're probably going to get some insight of what I've been up to but it's not literally showing you the whole overall of what I was doing out there but they just didn't make the cut because there were just so many snippets of what I was doing there that it just wasn't able to be a whole video in itself. So. Thank you again for watching, stay tuned for the next video and comment down below whatever things that you want to tell me. I really feel like I've kind of stayed aback in the film community lately uh, since December and so this whole month of January even though I was like hanging out with people in the film community I feel like I haven't really been interacting with everyone else who's a part of it just because like I just needed a break and just wanted to just focus on other things and also focus on myself being able to just have some self-care and be able to rejuvenate and get back to the pace of things when I came back here which is now so thank you keep watching and stay tuned until the next video okay sayonara <laughs> This is so funny. I'm just like documenting. This. BTS? <laughs> yeah, BTS. <laughs> so funny. I uh, freestyle. I wanted to go pick up some coffee and some breakfast. I can live my life here. That's pretty sweet. Really nice. I don't know how I'm surviving right now, but we're surviving. the dogs in the world going to finally meet Chris Barlucci from Analog Talk and Chris Visser the hangout of 2021 head south on Moreno Drive this is so convenient for like vlogging vlogging like this little platform look at him go I literally was like, should I go fetch them? Wow. Hello, you too. Hi. I know, right? This is so surreal. <laughs> oh my god, stop! Don't really go photo of me! Oh my god, you're so funny. <laughs> I was like, well, you guys are both Chris, but she requested to vlog. There you go. So what is this? I don't even know what's this hashtag that you guys are talking about. It's an account that Chris Rock where she just posts people's cameras in LA. So if I see you like out on the street and you have a film camera, I'm like, hey, nice camera. Can I take yeah. a picture of it for my account? And you just like run after them? Sometimes. <laughs> I do <I'm> that. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes I, I, get, I walk, like people walk around the reservoir they always yeah. have or like if you go to Melrose Trading Post they always have. Yeah. What is your message to the world? The message to the world is don't stay.
I'm staying. In LA. In LA? No, not really, but I wish. There's a guy here who's just like, I don't know who knows what. <laughs> with her Leica. Here we go. This is legit. I am currently in Malibu, California. Never been here before. Decided to go on a little self-adventure. And yeah, it's not, it wasn't too far from where I was staying at. So I was like, might as well go to a place I've never been to before. And here, are, here I am now. And I brought my Canonet with Color Plus 200, my Super 8, but ectochrome in it. There's Joel. Haven't seen this guy in what, two years? I think so. Now you reunited in, of course, in Pasadena. We gotta wait for the oh. light. I'm gonna get run over, so this is why Joel's here, to make sure nothing happens to me. Oh, now we can walk. Yeah, People are like, what is going on here? So, yeah. I got, oh, in and out. Now we're gonna get bubble tea. So, there's a bakery at the corner of the street as well we can check out. Is it really good? Uh, 85 degrees, yeah. Oh, good. yeah, I've been there. Yeah, they're kind of neat. I went there, like, but like in Irvine. I feel like. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Like any Asian like town. Yeah. So I haven't been there in forever. Yeah, Irvine is like really far. Well, I was staying in Chino Hills for work the last, no, not the very last time. The last time was with Joseph, but the one before that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. This is Robbie. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's here in LA. Go find him secretly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this guy is good. Whoa, this is super zoomed. Hard day. Oh. Currently, I'm trying to look for Jason and Caleb. I have no clue where they are right now. Do do do. And Chris B is supposed to be here too. So Jason said to meet here. He's not even here, so we're gonna kill time and take some photos. No. Oh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I literally was like, am I in the right spot? Oh, really? There you go, Jason and Caleb. Nice to meet we you guys. Time to hill, so we're oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're out of breath. Yeah. Oh, how are you? Good. I literally, oh, so why I pushed it a bit because I just got a tattoo. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. K-Town. Oh, okay. oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. I mean, I know you're not supposed to, but uh -huh. yeah, it is what it is. I see people that much. And now if, if I see someone on the street, um, yeah. hey, can I come close to you? <laughs> Bicycle. <laughs> Just cameras on cameras on cameras on cameras. And then there's Caleb. <laughs> Where's my. I feel like I'm never shooting one this day. <laughs> Sounds like nothing. That's what I'm looking for, this hole in the gate. We're like walking on this bridge.
just got it. No, just a band like that. This is so cool. How much longer are you in LA for? Today's my last day. Today's your last day. So it's meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna meet with Jason. You guys want to go to a bar? <laughs> you want to go to a bar? Not any that are open. I know. Nope. Someday. Someday. It's the end of the video, so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, it will help me in the long run. Okay, bye.